Stay tuned to catch a glimpse of the most impressive multimedia show put on to date. treat for you today. I will give you some glimpses and a review of Through the Echoes, a brand new show that's going on in old Montreal this summer. So you're not in Montreal and you're wondering why should I care about this video. This show is built and is being broken in with the Montreal audience and hopefully they want to travel with it later on so who knows where it's going to end up in the world. Uh, the show was imagined by the co-founder um, of Cirque du Soleil, Guy La Liberté, you may have heard of Cirque du Soleil before. So you know there's a good chance that this could end up eventually having a lot of success. So on today's video I will tell you a little bit about the show, what to expect once you're there, a little bit of story background. I got some glimpses there as well and then make sure you stay till the end with my final review, letting you know if it is absolutely worth it or not to go and see. I saw one of the very first performances of Through the Echoes, which takes place in Old Montreal. It is taking place in the PY1 Pyramid, and the show just started June 1st and is supposed to run until September 29. You first enter a smaller pyramid with your ticket, and already right there you have a little hallway with some cool light effects. And from there, you enter into the main period area. There are benches around the perimeter to sit on, and if you don't get one, there are plenty of small cushions on the floor to enjoy the show. So I have my little note to just tell you a bit what to expect during the show, because there's just so much. It's considered an immersion show. It lasts 60 minutes. It's on a 360 projection screen. That's the four sides of the inside of the pyramid. So you have video, you have lights, you have sound, there's special effects, there's smoke, there's music and narration as well. Once the show starts, you're sort of put in a position where you are by a campfire looking up at the stars. And from there, we are taken through evolution of time, a little bit from the Big Bang, starting off with the creation of planet Earth. In the middle of the stage, there's like a rock that I'm assuming is supposed to be Earth. And we see a little bit the beginning of evolution of time, the beginning of life forms, eventually into humans, interactions between humans, technology, modern advances and the clashes and the rises of empires created by the human race. The show is also dotted with some narration from Alan Watts, who was a spiritual beatnik philosopher uh, at his height during the 1940s through the 1960s. Um, he was very famous at the time, so you have a lot of narrations uh, throughout the show. Uh, it is in English and there's French subtitles around the bottom of the pyramid and it's all about questioning a little bit who we are, how we interact with each other, and how as humans we can evolve and make things better on Earth and save it possibly. So I did not really intend to do a YouTube video out of this show in the first place, so all my video shots are vertical from my phone, uh, but I'll try to make it as visually pleasing as possible for you. Just want to say beforehand, I went with work. This was not a media event. I went on my own, and it did mention in the FAQ of the website that I am allowed to take up to 15 second videos. So all of my video shots are under that time. Just making that clear if the production is watching. And now let's go on to the show. Check out some little bits and pieces of what you can expect.
solution. And you understand that black implies white. So, my review, yay or nay, should you go or shouldn't you go? As I mentioned earlier, I went very at the beginning, I was there the seventh night that it opened and it's the, the first time it's being presented to an audience, so they're really breaking in the show and uh, I think they're probably going to adjust things along the way according to feedback. I have to say that uh, visually, I've never seen anything like it. I've seen a lot of light shows in cities, but inside a pyramid, inside a, 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 a structure like that, all the different medias that are used, it was really, really a unique experience and I was really impressed by that. Music is interesting as well, kind of like at the beginning, with beginning of time, you have a bit of like a, a tribal effect. Uh, there's a lot of percussions, a lot of music that goes along with the uh, evolution of Earth. And eventually you get into some a little more new agey music. It's got a really strong 90s influence, I found, the show in general and the music towards the end. And um, I kind of wish there had been a little bit more of modern pieces maybe towards the end, especially especially with the modern technology, but there was a really cool ending with a, a rendition from Imagine by John Lennon. That was a really nice way to end it. About the narrations from Alan Watts, so he died in 1973 and he did a lot of lectures and speeches in the 40s to 60s. So the narration is done entirely from tapes that were taken at that time during conferences. I'm sure they did their best to work the audio, but it's really not great. Uh, thank, I'm really happy I'm bilingual and I was, uh, even as a, an Anglophone, hearing the tape, I had trouble understanding what was being said. So I had to read the French uh, translations, the French subtitles sometimes to just even be able to figure out what was being said. So that's a big piece that I think needs to be worked on. Also trying to absorb all these philosophical ideas kind of like took away my attention from being able to enjoy all the visual aspect. So it kind of created a bit of a, a distance and, and disconnected me from the light show, always trying to listen to what was being said. So that, that was a little disappointing. Another thing is this show is promoted as a sh an ambulance show where you're supposed to be able to walk around and absorb uh, different things and see it in different angles during the show. That's not the reality. There's about 80 seats around the perimeter and I was lucky enough to get one. Everybody else was sitting down on the floor or on these really tiny little cushions. So there was no way for anybody to walk around. So um, I would expect more, expect to sit and watch it. And if you're lucky on a good chair. Again, as I mentioned, this is brand new and I really think Montreal is the audience that's the guinea pig to break it in and they can learn and tweak it and fix it. Uh, for sure there's room for improvement, but I think they really have a good start with it. Uh, like I said, visually it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. So yay or nay, should you go see it? Is it worth going to see through the echoes? I would say maybe not quite yet. I would give it at least a month till like maybe beginning of July, mid-July when they've worked out some of the kinks. I think one of the biggest elements they need to work on is to create an emotional connection. I, I didn't get that emotional connection trying to listen to a philosopher and just being blown away by these visuals. I wasn't really connecting with it. So I think that's the key element that they would need to work on to really make it a quite a bigger success. One big complaint though, it was freaking cold in there. Like the AC was pumped up. And I mean, I'm not a person that gets cold, but I was freezing. So bring a sweater or production team, lower the AC a little bit, please. I hope you really enjoyed my review of Through the Echoes. Let me know, have you ever seen a multimedia show like this before? And if you have, where have you seen it? I'd love to hear that. So let me know if you like this video, make sure to give it a like, leave me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos to come. On that note, always remember to eat and travel outside of your comfort zone and I'll see you very soon again in a new video. Mwah. Bye.